hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for all you do for this channel god bless you my people really appreciate you we do not take your support for granted yes guys as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country this one um, is coming um, on the backdrop of what happened yesterday we know yesterday the news broke out that um, the yoruba activist sunday Adeyemo, also know that um, Sunday Igboho was um, <laughs> an attempt to arrest him was made yesterday by DSS, but um, it failed. After that um, failed attempt, Sunday Igboho has now sent a strong message and a strong warning to federal government. We'll bring all of the details shortly, but before we carry on, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Also, press on that notification bell. It really does mean a lot to us. God bless you, my people. Yes, let's get into the news now and grab all of the details. Sunday Igboho has sent a warning message to the federal government after attempted arrest on him by DSS earlier on on Friday, the 26th of February, 2021, along the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Golden News Nigeria gathered at Sunday Nade Emo, also known as Sunday Igboho, has warned the federal government to channel its energy towards arresting Boko Haram leader Ibrahim Sheku and the Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmad Gumi, who has been holding meetings with bandits. Igbo said this during an interview with a punch on Friday while reacting to the face off between him and the security agents around the Guru Maharaji bus stop along the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. The Yoruba activist, who has been in the news for serving a quick notice on Fulani headsmen in some parts of the southwest, said he was never invited before they attempted to arrest him. When asked if he would honor a police invitation, Igboho said, Go and ask them to invite Gumi and Shekau first before disturbing me. Let them face the bandits instead. Igbo also said he would not run, adding that he had returned to his base in Ibadan. When asked if he would go into hiding, he said, What for? I'm in the neighborhood. I cannot run. Igbo told the newspaper that his bank account was initially frozen, but the restriction was lifted recently. He said he had done nothing wrong but fight for the rights of his people. Furthermore, the Yoruba Social Political Group, Afene Fere, also condemned the attempt by the security operative to arrest Yoruba rights activist Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Igboho. Reacting to the incident, Udumakin said, There is no sense in that. In the attempted arrest, Igbo is a free citizen of Nigeria. If they need him for questioning, they should invite him, not go and waylay him on the way like an armed robber. So Sunday Igboho has um, sent a warning message to President Mohamed Buhari that he's got a job to do. He has things on his hand to do that he's not a person of interest. The person of interest um, that the whole country is pointing out right now, we know Nigerians are saying it with one voice that Sheikh Gumi should be arrested because he's the one that goes to meet bandits in their various hideouts have meetings with them and all sorts. And at the end of the day, he comes out to say this is their grievance. Can you imagine? He comes out to say that uh, it's because of this and this and nobody should call them criminals. They are not actually criminals. Um, they don't kill. Um, it's just them. Um, anyone that they've killed is just accidental. You can imagine all of those um, garbage that he's bringing out. He goes out there peacefully. After the meeting, he comes out and he comes out on live television. So it's not like it's some speculations. People start speculating about what he has said. He says it himself that I just came out from this meeting with um, this terrorist group or with this uh, um, group of bandits. Name them. He comes out. I can just imagine it's something like this happening in, uh, uh, in the advanced country that someone will be claiming that I just met with terrorists. If they can lay hold on the terrorists immediately, that person is already in trouble. You don't even come and just type anything and say, yes, I was with this um, notable terrorist. They are looking for terrorists and you have connection. Anyone around the terrorist is in the net already, is already in their net. And um, it's so surprising that presidency, they are paying deaf ear to Sheikh Gumi. They don't want to pick him up. He doesn't. They don't want to arrest him. And surprisingly, yesterday, they attempted arresting Sunday Igboho, the Yoruba activist, who um, stood up for his community. And, you know, immediately after that um, report broke out yesterday, we did report that news here at Peak Media. Surprisingly, the DSS, they came out um, denying the fact that they never attempted 
to arrest Sunday Igboho. You see, that is what they do. And you know, Nigerians reacted that it, it was not because the attempt of arrest was uh, a failed one. It did not go through because Sunday Igbo is someone who is uh, uh, a lot of people have um, they are supporting him. You know, he he was tagged a hero when all the leaders, the Yoruba leaders, um, kept mute. Bola Tinubu up till now he has not said anything. He doesn't want to get into the bad books of President Mohamed Buhari. Bola Tinubu has not said anything. Even the governor for your state, the sort of politics is playing with this um, crisis. We do not understand because he does he's not taking a firm stand. And we know he's not in support of Sunday Igboho. We know um, where his loyalty lies. All these guys, they are just playing politics at the detriment uh, of the lives of um, indigenous. Anyway, Sunday Igboho has told presidency that if you need me, invite me, I will come. I'm not hiding. There is nothing of such. Don't come and play games here. The person you should be looking for is Shaku. If you don't know where Shaku is, you know where uh, Islamic cleric Gumi is the Islamic cleric. I beg your pardon. The Islamic cleric Sheikh Gumi, you know where he is. Invite him for he needs to be picked up and um, this insecurity issue is getting worse. It's getting worse. Imagine yesterday, just yesterday, yeah, three hundred students, secondary students in a girls' secondary school were kidnapped. You can imagine girls. Ah, it's so sad. It's unbelievable. Very, very unbelievable. And um, they are claiming that these guys they are not bad. It's just because of um, the way they were treated. That that's why they're acting like this. I need that what should be done, that is that those governors that are relaxing, President Mohamed Buhari, their children, their cousins should be kidnapped into one sort of forest. They will know how traumatizing it can be and see that um, this is something very important, very, very important, something not to play with. Kidnap 300 students. And we know the United Nations have reacted to that as well. Anyway, my people, <laughs> Sunday Igbo is warning presidency that they should not come close to him. They should go and look for um islamic cleric gumi he should be looked for and um, she, um the the uh, leader of boko haram shakua as well that if they need him for any reason whatsoever they should invite him he's not hiding he's not running away he's available and he will come for any sort of questioning with all of this from sunday boy it's so shameful right now that um ds says they had the, the audacity to deny the news and call it fake they don't know the era where we live right now is um, technology driven. Anything they do, any attempt they make before they know it goes around, the news goes around. Yesterday they were denying that um, they did not attempt any sort of uh, arrest, but we're hearing it directly from Sunday Igboho now. Anyway, guys, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So, I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now, and God bless.